Hey guys, welcome back. I'm continuing with the uh, web applications that we're building for uh, custom workouts. On the previous videos, we uh, brainstormed the idea of a product, which is a web app. Um, then we started building the screen flow of all the screens that the app will have. And finally, the last video, we um, build some of the wireframes that the app has. So on this video, we will continue with those wireframes. So hopefully we can finish those up on this video. So then we can move to designing the data structure. Um, so yeah, let's, um, let's start. So we build this list of screens and we did all the wireframes for these four. Um, we can see this working on this simple prototype. We have the sign in, sign up, dashboard, adding new workout, picking up the exercise, and then we want to work on the rest of the screens that we have here. So let's start with work of details and workout preview, which I think it will be the same one, the same screen. Um, so let me move here to the editor. Okay. So we have this navigation, then we create the workout, and then we should be able to open one of these and see like the preview of the workout. So what I'm going to do is I will copy dashboard, put it here. I will delete these links here, which we don't need. And then I will remove these things. And this will be workouts. workouts one okay so we have a title description here which will have to display somehow on the ui let's see if we have like now we have this heading text okay I'll play around with this so this will be the workout title, let me zoom in because this is, okay. And let's make this larger. Then we have the description. I will just copy this. Size, a little bit smaller. Uh, actually, the title is this one. Um, so what if we... Yeah, I want to do this like kind of a breadcrumb, so let's just put the description here. Let's use the lot meme zoom. Oh, no, Japanese, whatever, let's copy this. Oops. I think this is too much, should be something like this. And then the list of exercises or workouts, the exercises. Maybe we do this as a list. Mm. Yeah, something like this could work for us in this one. Delete this. 
put this here. All right, so we have for exercises, we have this title description, reps or time and rest time. So we will do the same thing here. We will have the title, all like exercise. Let me zoom in again. It's too small. How can I make this wider? Oh. Here it will be these push-ups, push-ups, like um, sit-ups, whatever, some random description here. I don't know if we want to have this check, but we do reps and time, rest time. Okay, and I don't know, 10, 30 seconds, 12, 30 seconds. This could be the muscle groups. Remember, we have those for every exercise here. So in this case, push-ups will be like chest and whatever, arms, maybe sit-ups, legs. Instead of edit, we want uh, remove, probably. Yeah, I don't know how to change this width. And all well, same thing here, like yeah, let's use ChatGTP to get a list of production or latest model. Yeah, try why not? Um, give me a list of ten calisthenic exercises, shops. We already have these pull ups. And squat. We are, we are going to use uh, ChatGTP2 to build a predefined list later on. Just not the right moment to do that. But I will show you on a following video how, how we are going to leverage on ChatGTP. Lunges, plank, um, mountain climbers, and I think we're done with this. So pull-ups, um, okay, I think 12 is way too much, 5. Squats, uh, I think squats and sit-ups are kind of the same stuff, dips. I won't put board piece because I kind of avoid them. <laughs> uh, plank, this would be like 40 seconds and okay, mountain climbers 12. Yeah, let's keep 30 seconds rest. And then we have like arms or biceps and back or whatever squats legs dips lunges we can this is just it's important to map these things out because again the idea of of this is we are mapping out the functionality before we actually build anything. 
So this gives us like uh, an idea of what should the app display when. Okay. So now we have the workout detail, which is all the exercises here. We can remove them, but we can't actually add any here. So what I'm what I'm thinking is maybe we need an edit button that opens this one instead of having this here. And then on this one, there's no way to remove this. Once we add them, there's no way to remove them. So maybe we need to add a delete button here or an icon. So let's, let's do that. Let's add something like this here, maybe. So we can delete it. And then this list, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this. What happens? Oh, perfect. So I'll move this to the list here. And then maybe we can. How do we remove them? Uh, there we go. All right. So this could be the image here. Element type. Oh, this is cool. It's fine. All right. So this will be the preview um, or the view image to view workout. So this screen is this one, workout details. Let's put them, put it green. So now we can see the details of all the workouts here, of, of every workout. We click on this one, like this, and then you go to the details. And then we need to build the edit one. And as you saw, I didn't I think this one is probably not needed because you will be able to see everything here at once. So there's no need to preview the workout once created, before being created, sorry. But we need to be able to edit. So let's find a button here to Edit output here. Again, there I'm, I'm aware there must be better ways to design this, but this is just mapping out the elements that we want to to have, so we know what we are going to build. Okay. Um, uh, export download and settings export. Export, I think export print will just should, should open just a PDF. Oh, so it downloads a PDF uh, of every workout. Maybe we can do one page per workout. So this will just download a PDF. And settings, again, I don't think we need settings. But one thing I notice here is we don't have a way to log out. So this is important uh, to what, well, while we are building these, we, we figure out these things, right? That there's no way to log out. So I will just switch this to be logout for now. So we can make this easier. And this will just create a PDF, no need to do the wireframe. Settings will be uh, dismissed for now. Remember, I'm building an MVP and my MVP in this case, it's been able to create and edit a workout with a preset list of exercises. If we remember, this is our MVP. This is the main focus that I'm going to uh, 
use as a direction to build the first version of my app. So less is more, as we know in some cases. So let's let me just to change this to be like um, logout, something like this. All right. So pretty simple. I think we can call it a day with the ter with the wireframes. So it's a very simple app. Let's preview the prototype. Um, so we have sign in, okay? Then you click here, it will go to your home with your workouts. You click on your workout, you go to the list, you will see your reps, rest time that you need to follow. Uh, the muscle groups, um, then you can edit. Oh, I need to link this button. I will do that in a moment. And then I'm stuck on this page. There's no way to go back. Okay. So maybe we do a back button somewhere. Um, so we are kind of testing UX in this like test that we are building. So let me just do a back here. Actually, you know what? No, let's do this. Um, home should. If you click on home, it should send you here, okay? But also, this is a breadcrumb-ish, so this could be a link to the home or the workouts page. So it works kind of like a back button. Thing is, do we have any element to make like a... Clickable surface. I don't see any. Maybe what I can do is duplicate this, delete this. Yeah, this should work. So this is kind of a breadcrumb. If you don't know what a breadcrumb is, it's just like these navigation things that some apps use to uh, as to depending on the depth tip or the depth of the navigation, you can go into different levels. So edit needs to go to kind of this screen but different. Let me just duplicate this, and it will be. Just to this will go here now, and this will be edit workout, and we will have kind of this instead. And well, in this case, we will have like all of these exercises here. Just want to let's go back, play, close this one. So now I can go home here, or I can click here, or I can edit. I go to edit workout. I can go back here, and then I can add a new one. I can add exercises. So I think it's like the very basic navigation. If you notice something or you think you can uh, comment on something that you would like to see, please add it in the comments. So I can uh, do that on the next video. But again, this is all for wireframes. Okay, pretty simple stuff. But now we have like a clear understanding on what our MVP is. Uh, yeah, you can do this for any application you want to build. As you see, I'm not into coding right away. I'm just uh, brainstorming, defining the screens, making sure navigation is OK, user experience is the right one. This is what I want to build. I can use this to pitch my idea to anyone to get feedback before I do any coding. Um, so I can even use this now to budget this. I can send it to a few. 
uh, people in Upwork or freelancers to ask them how long and how much they will charge for this. Maybe we do this as an experiment later on. I can show you how to use Upwork to do that. But right now, the main idea is to, at least in this series of videos, to follow this path. And the next thing will be designing the data structures. Um, so once we design the data structures, which will be all the tables or collections that we need to hold or store all this data, um, we are going to be using a relational database, which is easier to understand for most people. It's just like a spreadsheet, pretty straightforward. So I'll do that in the next video. And if you have any questions or comments, please uh, let them below. And right, I hope you like this video. Uh, subscribe if you want to see the next one next week. I'm trying to publish these videos every Wednesday until we finish the complete application. So this will guide you through all the process of creating an MVP. And I hope it's helpful for you. So have a great day, night. I'll see you on the next video.